All right, what's well, everyone? My new favorite addiction finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Azeda Fest. I mean, I know you guys probably don't care much about that fest, but honestly, this game, for some reason, it looks simplistic. It's you know, very simplistic in nature, but my god, it is freaking satisfying. So yeah, today we're gonna be playing on the max difficulty this game can provide. In Killing Floor 2, that's going to be hell on earth, but in this game, it's going to be kamikaze. On top of that, we're also gonna be playing today with the Nuker perk, my new favorite perk, and you're most likely gonna see why. So yeah, I've been playing a bit of the Commando, a bit of the Torpedo, you know, Bone Breaker, stuff like that, but Nuker, since I love, you know, the Demolitionist in Killing Floor 2, yeah, this one is... Yep, just in my my epic list. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go start the game and see what we can possibly do. Oh, and here we go. This is gonna be my load, though. This is the Zero Gravity Gun. And for the sword, yep, I do have the Greeny Slimy Sword. I mean, this thing is... I mean, you don't even need, like, a secondary freaking weapon. I mean, what the hell is this? Pistol. <laughs> no, fam. I mean, something that's actually cool in this game, yep, you can actually sell... With your nades, your knives, your pistols, you know, stuff you don't even need. But yeah, anyway, this is the max difficulty of this game. I'm also gonna be playing just, you know, horde mode today. And this is why I love the freaking nuker. I mean, look at this, man. I got a ton of ammo, and this is gonna be, like, my skill set. I can't even, like, show it, I don't think. I'm just gonna show you that at the very end of the video. Oh, by the way, this game actually got... Well, yeah, an update, and now... The sensitivity is freaking fixed, and I can, you know, freaking shoot properly here. Oh, Zeds, what are your plans? Yeah, not much. But yeah, once you actually get the hang of this game, yep, it's pretty, pretty easy. I mean, to be fair, when I first, you know, played this game, I thought I was just gonna play, you know, one game just to record it since I got it for free. But I actually put in, well, yeah, 10 hours or something like that. Yeah, don't even ask. Even though this game is freaking simplistic, it's very, very entertaining here. It's just like a fun, chill, you know, game. I mean, for instance, if you're playing like, I don't know, Killing Floor and, you know, games are not going your way, yeah, you jump into this and then you just, well, yeah, chop up the dudes. Now, realistically, the only thing that can actually kill you in Z-Fest is going to be the boss wave because the boss, yeah, my man's a freaking bullet sponge. Okay, boy. Oh god, I'm good. Stalker, what are your plans? Nope, she actually slapped me there. But yeah, they do like significant amount of damage. But once you actually, you know, keep them at bay, yeah, they can't even do anything. Oh, rest in pepperonis, fam. I mean, look at this pistol. Don't need it. Dynamite, don't need it. When I first looked at this, yep, it was a little bit confusing. I mean, what the hell is a freaking trampoline, laser fence, stuff like that. The most important bit here is gonna be the ammo generator, because ammo can actually be scarce. But at the same time, if you actually manage it, yeah, it's not that bad. But yeah, with the ammo box, yeah, you just whip it out, and you can just, like, place it literally anywhere you want. I mean, I'm, for instance, gonna be, like, camping out well, yeah, here somewhere, I'm just gonna place it down. Skip the trader with the F1, maybe heal a little bit with my 5 key, since I bought some med kits. Yeah, this game, it is very simplistic. Literally anyone can just go, you know, and get into it really, really fast. Now, the only problem with this game, how should I say replayability, just same as, you know, Killing Floor. If you find something, it's gonna be enjoyable, but... If the game doesn't provide it, it's kind of hard to, you know, keep on playing it. Now, currently this game has, what, like five perks, I do believe, and you can level them up to level 20, and that's gonna take you roughly 10 hours per perk if you know what the hell you're doing. So yeah, you can actually put in 50 hours just, you know, grinding the freaking perks. And then you also have, you know, steam achievements, you can do those just to, you know, kill some time. I think I only need, like, what, four more achievements, and I'm just, like, done with all of them, but keep in mind... Yeah, this game is early access, and what does that mean? Yep, there could be a lot more stuff coming to the game. Dude, I'm just like talking about this game like I'm freaking sponsored, but genuinely I freaking enjoy it, just like a freaking knock around game. It it's just so good. I mean, look at this, man, I'm just walking around, killing some dudes with my zero gravity gun, boy. It it's just so good. I mean, look at that, a freaking siren up, and she just blew up. Well, rest in a siren pieces, I guess. Bro, why is this weapon so good? Oh my god, sensitivity. Thank you very much. Oh, I just shot myself. But yeah, look at this. I don't actually do 360s when I look around, so I can actually aim 
and shoot at what I'm looking at. Yeah, boy. How can that shoot like upstairs? But yeah, this game, it is very comparable to... Well, yeah, killing floor. I mean, you're just, you know, shooting a horde of zeds, leveling up, buying stuff at the trader. It is just, you know, third person and a little bit more, you know, cartoony looking. But is that a bad thing? I mean, you guys can be the judge. Now, like I said, I am no way, shape or form sponsored by ZFest. I'm just... I mean, playing it and I'm freaking enjoying it. I mean, a lot of you guys actually said, Oh, put funder, do more variety. I mean, is this variety? I mean, I guess so. It's not killing floor too. Boy. Stupid sirens, man. Oh, fatty boom boom. I mean, he do be fat and he did go a boom boom. Oh, another one just spawned. Tin pepperonis. Though, I mean, another cool thing with this weapon, you can actually... Well, yeah, jump over things, cause... I mean, zero gravity gun. I mean, look at this shit, man. So Oh, fatty. No, and he just died. But yeah, something you can do in this game, you can just, like, kite them around, uh, just like this, and... Well, yeah, once they're, like, kited all the way, I mean, just, like, whoop their freaking asses, just like that. Dude, I just love the freaking gameplay. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> Actually satisfying, fatty. That's what I thought. But yeah, this is like a viable strategy here. You can just like kite them in a circle and once you actually got, well, yeah, the majority of them, you do have to be a little bit careful not to get like, you know, stunned in between your kite. Because you're most definitely gonna die. I mean, on lower difficulties, you're probably not gonna die. But on the max difficulty, yep, you're probably gonna get toast. Oh, stalker, please. I mean, this is like something I love doing, just like kite them up. And just like that. Oh, my level 17. Near enough a level freaking 20. Oh my god, it just got clapped. Okay, let's just heal just a little bit since I got like a bunch of these. And there's even like one on the floor. So this game, it is still early access. And I would say it's, you know, been going quite alright. Some stuff I would actually love in this game is, well, yeah, a little bit more improvement in the graphics. Not sure if that can be done. You know, some FPS issues, stuff like that. And in terms of content, yeah, I would just, you know, make more maps, more unique maps, not these, like, enclosed flat maps, if that makes any sense. You know, a couple of more perks, a lot of new Zeds, and yep, you got yourself a very good freaking game i mean on top of that even like more objectives and stuff like that but i mean things things are looking good for this game i can assure you that i might actually do a full review of this game i pretty much already covered most of the stuff that i'm gonna like implement in my review if i decide to do one but i guess we'll see if you guys want it i can do it oh 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 glitch face my man okay this boss is actually pretty freaking easy on you know this difficulty but the other one yeah, he is a bit of a pain. But yeah, that's like another thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about, you know, more content for this game. Yeah, more bosses. More bosses are never a bad thing. Wait, what? Oh, my man. Oh, look at that damage. He actually did some damage here. But I think I hit a bit harder than you, but did. Okay, that's bad. Boy. Posers. Okay, don't have to heal yet. Just gonna be killing these little dudes so they don't get in my freaking way. Ow. Okay, I can heal once, I guess, because I do see one of those healing bits on the floor. Oh, ammunition, fam. Oh, yep, he's taking significant damage now because his... Well, yeah, armor is off. I mean, I know this game is not gonna be for everyone, but I mean, just for like a knock around freaking game. I mean, it's just epic, up oh, freaking glitch face, my mans. Well, they're doing shenanigans now. Oh, did you just miss? Okay, just gonna reload. Oh, that's not like a healing thing, that's a freaking piggy bank. I mean, doesn't matter. Oh, what's he doing? I mean, dying, that's what he's doing. Boy. I don't know exactly how much damage this thing actually does to him. Like, 5%. I mean, he's like on 13. No, he's on 8. Yep, I'm pretty much doing 5% per shot. Oh, he's gonna die in the second one. Eh, uh, boy. No, and there he goes. And yep, that was pretty much it for the hardest difficulty in Z-Fest. Now, on multiplayer, it is a little bit difficult. I mean, not in, you know, mid-waves, but for the boss wave, 
Yeah, that's like the only time you can die, realistically. If you don't have a medic on your team. And by the medic, yep, I do mean the doctor. If you have this perk fully loaded, yep, you can heal like a freaking champ. And if you have stuff, you know, like the bone breaker and the nuker on your team, I mean, rest in pieces the entire game. You're pretty much a god. But yeah, anyway, this was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.